General Motors, along with Tesla, has sold enough EVs that its products are no longer eligible for the federal tax credit which still lowers the purchase price of EVs from Hyundai, Volkswagen, Ford, and other brands. So what to do when the government won't help lower prices? The 2022 Bolt has been upgraded based on customer feedback, GM says, claiming more comfortable seats and a more contemporary interior. And, in fact, rather than the 8.0-inch digital layout of the dashboard cluster carried over from the current Bolt, the dashboard and interior look more like a regular Chevy and less like a futuristic electric car. The 10.2-inch display houses GM's latest infotainment system and supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless connections. A wireless charger is optional, and the company has updated the shifter to a push-button system that sits on the center console. The 2022 Bolt also now has a button on the center console that allows the driver to activate single-pedal driving, which uses regenerative braking to stop the vehicle without using the brake pedal in certain driving situations. When the driver lifts his right foot off the gas pedal, the EV begins to slow down, instead of sliding like a traditional petrol vehicle. It was as if the person behind the wheel had gently stepped on the brakes. When the vehicle slows down, it recharges the battery. With a little practice, EV drivers can get around town using only the accelerator pedal. While the look got an upgrade, the bolt size has barely changed. It's the same 69.5 inches wide, but half an inch taller at 63.4 inches and about 0.8 inches shorter, lengthwise, at 163.2 inches. This leaves the Bolt EV roughly the same size as the now more expensive 2021 Kona Electric. Luggage space is 16.6 cubic feet, 0.3 cubic feet less than the 2021 model. With 60-40th split seats down, that goes up to 57.0 cubic feet. The Bolt outperformed the Kona with 11.2 cubic feet of seats but lost to the Hyundai in luggage space of 2.6 cubic feet. Although the interior and exterior looks are different, the specifications of the vehicle itself are almost the same as the 2021 Bolt. The 2022 Bolt still has a targeted range of 259 miles from a 65.0 kWh battery capacity. That's down 1.0 kWh from the 2021 figure. AC Level 2 charging gets a slight boost and supports up to 11 kW, but DC fast charging, which is now standard on all models, remains steady to support up to 55 kW, the same as the previous generation. Chevy says that through DC fast charging, drivers will be able to add 100 miles of range in about 30 minutes. The 2022 Bolt EV is still powered by a single motor that delivers 200 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque to the front wheels. The underlying technology under the vehicle remains the same as the Bolt is still based on the BEV2 electric vehicle platform, not GM's new Ultium platform. In fact, GM Bolt and Bolt EUV CEO Jesse Ortega said during a phone call, there are no plans to incorporate the Ultium system into the Bolt EV or Bolt EUV. While the 2022 Bolt EV doesn't get access to GM's Super Cruise technology like its new sibling, the Bolt EUV, the 2022 Bolt comes as standard with the Chevy Safety Assist package that includes lane-keeping assist and safety features including automatic and advanced emergency braking. Collision warning, adaptive cruise control and rear traffic warning are optional. Overall, the 2022 Bolt is more of the same, with a design refresh that takes customer feedback into account but at a significantly lower price tag. It looks like a replacement in the Chevy lineup while GM is overall transitioning to electric vehicles built on the Ultium platform. Its lower prices for essentially the same amount of product in the same range suggest that EV prices will continue to fall as the market matures. The 2022 Chevy Bolt EV will be in showrooms this summer.